Wow, what's that thing on the roof? Like the gigantic owl. What the hell? Hello everybody, how are you doing? Michael here from Star Streams, back with another video. I've got a slightly croaky voice today, which is perfect for reading letters and whatnot to get through this game. I'm going in blind, prophecy demo. I've heard loads of good things about this. Two people, two specific people recommended it to me. So let's do it. Now, if my voice breaks, it's your fault. And don't forget to like, all right? Help me out. Help me out on the YouTube algorithm. I love going in blind. I do. So it's based on a farm, I know that much. There's some supernatural-esque things going on. It's some kind of puzzle game. I'm working out what happened. We're working December out what happened. 10th, 1967. I got a letter that said, Come home, Caleb. Under the starlit sky, the cowboy sings. The name on the envelope said Joseph Dewstring, my dad's name. The strange thing was, my dad died a few weeks ago. That's strange. I had avoided going back to our farmhouse after his death, but that letter shook me to my core. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was time to finally go back home. How fun! Nothing like a creepy farmhouse. December 15th, 1967. I found myself driving to my childhood home in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, after swearing I'd never go back. Take me home. And I knew I was going to sing that song at some point. We'll grab the flashlight. Why am I coming here at night time? Couldn't I have just waited for the morning, you know? Oh, how am I supposed to read that? I've got terrible eyesight and my... Oh, that's a lot of words. And my throat is really bad right now. It's gonna, it's gonna break, okay? You can put in the comments, at what time will my throat, will my voice break? What time? Have a guess now. Uh, dear Caleb, <laughs> 1967, blimey. Nearly Christmas, though. Uh, I should do this in some kind of a, a, a accent. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> As you requested, I've obtained your father's auto pay report and took it to the farmhouse. <laughs> None of the farmhands were there at the time as I slid it under the front door. <laughs> I can't do this. After the auto pay, your father's body was transported to Grey Rail Funeral Home where he had a plot purchased. I spoke with their staff and they said once you get into town, <laughs> it's all over the place, you can call them and schedule a time to make arrangements for your funeral. I left their business card for you too. <laughs> I don't know what this accent is. I'm sorry for your loss. Joe was a friend of mine. He was a good man <laughs> and, loved, and loved you very much. <laughs> Let me know if there's anything I could do for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I butchered that. Robert T. Wilson. Point Pleasant. The coroner. Okay, he was a friend of my dad. The coroner was a friend of my dad. That is a very bright light. Okay, spooky farm. It was late when I arrived and the farmhands would surely be gone for the day. Fresh produce and dairy. Sweet, I like dairy and fresh produce. Oh my God, is this as fast as I can walk? I am holding left shift. This is the speed. Look at me go. My stomach turned in knots. I hadn't set foot in that place in six years. Not since the falling out I had with my dad. Oh, what was that falling out about? Ding dong. Anyone home? No. The front ah. door was locked. I knew Dad kept a spare key in the shed somewhere. The shed? The hell's the shed? Is that it there? That doesn't look like a shed. That looks like some kind of a cattle thing. Oh, it goes round. Hang on. Oh, what's this? Sunny's Farming Supply Co. Uh, chicken feed. Hay. Oh yeah, it's just it's just an invoice. How boring. Just an invoice. Why would you leave an invoice there? Oh, I guess it's scattered papers, isn't it? How long's that coffee cup been there for? That's what I want to know. And is it coffee or is it tea? Is this the shit? Oh, I can hear something. Cosmic conscience. Paranormal experts believe that certain frequencies are a doorway to realms beyond our comprehension. 
whether it's extraterrestrial signals, interdimensional whispers. Oh, that's interesting. What's this? Bug spray, basically. Kill insects. Huh. Oh, no, we're dealing with bugs, like interplanetary bugs. Don't know how I feel about that. Natural phenomena playing a role in the unknown is vast and complex. Our understanding universe is evolving. Oh. We're dealing with aliens. We're dealing with aliens. Oh, that's a nice soothing sound. I like that sound. Maybe I should get a bell like that. Huh? Oh, crowbar! Apparently Tab is my... Oh, there's the crowbar. Nothing else here, no key. Can I, do I, am I supposed to smash these? Probably not. Items are used automatically on interaction, okay. Ah! Use the crowbar. Used crowbar. Wait, does that mean I'm only using it once? Oh. Oh, is it done? I can't use it again. Ah, there's the key. There's the key. What's this? Oh, why is nothing ever easy to read? Who are they? I don't know yet, but I think they're co closing in on me. Should I be more careful? Maybe I can throw them off. I can't really read this that well. Make it harder for them to figure out what I'm doing. I'll start by boarding up the shed. So that's why we had Who to... Who was Dad talking about? He was paranoid about something. No! Oh! I didn't mean to do that. Nearly locked myself in. Okay, I guess that's the front door key then that I've just picked up. So I'm going to go out and do this. Otherwise, I'm driving the tractor through the front door, you know what I mean? The thought of walking into our house and seeing my dad sitting on the couch, watching his favorite television program, kept creeping into my mind. That thought was crushed by the reality that he was gone. Oh my god, he's so slow. Right mouse button to use the key. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, this is creepy. It's the coroner's report. He says his body was found in the TNT area. What the hell was he doing out there? TNT area? What else did it say? Found near TNT bunker. Uh. Mm, cause of death on body excessive swelling and redness of skin around the eyes. Descendant found by a duty ranger. The only belongings in it on his person was his wallet. Exposure hypothermia. Okay. What's that's the business card, I take it. Okay. <laughs> oh that just triggered. That wasn't me. Yeah, that's the business card. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to leave it there for now. Random stock pictures. The house was a mess. What the hell happened? Was he in the process of... Oh, another bell. Love bells. So does he, apparently. Uh, it looks like he was moving out. What's this? I won't be able to listen without a tape player. I guess I need to find a tape player. My dad was a painter, but I had never seen that one before. Why did it remind me of something? Then I remembered the note he sent under the starlit sky where the cowboy sings. What the hell did it all mean? Riddle me this, riddle me that. One of mum's prize vases, she loved collecting anything made of porcelain. My family. We were in a car accident when I was eight. 
My mom, grandma, and grandpa died. Oh, God. My dad had to work really hard to keep the farm afloat after that. Oh, blimey. Another bell. What is up with all these bells? Hmm. Yeah, this isn't creepy at all. Oh my god. I knew my dad was a drinker, but he never abused it. Damn, he lost all control. Uh, I'd say there's literally bottles everywhere. Huh. And papers everywhere. Oh, what's this? I thought about calling Caleb, telling him I'm selling the last of the animals. He was attached to them and took pride in making sure they were taken care of. I've decided not to call though. What the hell am I going to do with all these supplies I bought? I hate to admit it, but I'm avoiding Mitchell's calls. I don't have time to deal with that. I have interviews lined up and with a few witnesses this week. All the animals? Gone? I needed to find Fred farmhand supervisor and get some answers. Nope. Oh, it's a recipe for blueberry pie. Oh, lovely. I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie in real life, you know? My God, the photos, the pictures on the wall are so bland and generic. <laughs> I mean, I know people probably love that stuff, but for me, that's so generic. Look, here's a picture of a house. Oh, that, I've seen that already, that one. That's a double copy-paste. Mm. I'm going to review all of these paintings and pictures. Where am I even going? What am I looking for here? Hang on, I don't think I've been... I haven't been in here yet. Oh! Who would call so late at night? He's so calm. I'd be like, who the hell? What the hell is that? Where is it? Where's the phone? Oh, it's over there. That doesn't sound like... That's an... That doesn't sound like that phone's ringtone. Hello? Hello? Oh no. Damn. The power had gone out before I could find out who that was. I would have to find a way to turn the power back on. Hang on a minute, aren't they on a separate... I should still be able to use the phone. Hmm. I'm sure they're on separate uh, connectors or whatever. If you lose power, then the phone should still work, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Another bell. These bells have to do something. I don't know what. Maybe it's an achievement. Lock all the... Click all the bells. My voice is going... But it's fine. There! You see what I mean? That's another double. We'll look at the we'll look for these doubles. We'll look for these doubles. <laughs> That's the third time I've seen that. Anyway, look, I'm not gonna criticize their paint jobs. Surely I can mix it up a little bit. Hang on. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Why have you got the same picture? <laughs> Literally. What? <laughs> what? Why have you... Okay. This doesn't matter. You see what I mean? Things aren't looking well. I've lost all the farmhands but one. Fred and his family are still here, but who knows for how much longer. They got a little boy and another one on the way. Soon I'll have to cut his pay too. And then I really don't know what I'll do. Oh, so we're not getting any money. Dad was in financial trouble. Yeah. He never said a word. We weren't on talking terms, but damn it. I wish he had just called me. I 
That's stubborn man. Stubborn man. Yeah. Locked. Why do they always creak in a farmhouse? What is that? Is that, uh... <laughs> is that a house again? Kind of breaks immersion, you know? It's fine. <laughs> what the hell? Oh! Okay. What the fuck? Was I imagining things? Who was that man? He didn't move, but I got the impression that he was pointing towards the backyard. Also, you are way too calm. Bing. You are way, way too calm for that situation. I'd be out of there. I'd be gone. Right. I needed to find the farmhand manager, Fred. He was the only farmhand that lived on the grounds. He had a cabin near the barn. I could have sworn the door to the backyard was closed. No, he's guiding me there. Ah! He was pointing to the backyard. Hey, this is pretty cool. I like this. Let's make sure we're not missing anything. We are missing something. There once was a two-headed oracle who sensed an impending curse on the land. The Sphinx called upon the Luck Dragon for guidance during the troubled times ahead. The dragon told the Sphinx to go there to go see the three wise sage. The sages are wise but delight in treacherous deceit. Seek their wisdom with caution, said the dragon. What will we gain in return? asked the sages in unison. The Sphinx Oracle said, As seers we are but servants to all kind, and our reward is to assure the prosperity of every being. The sages gave the Sphinx three gems and said, Use them wisely. What a lovely story. Ah, cool. These bells have to do something. Ah, it's been over a year since he's been gone and I haven't talked to him once. When he got married a few months ago, his wife was the one to call me and break the news. She said Caleb doesn't want anything to do with me, but she thinks her father should know about his own son's marriage. So that's why she called. <laughs> hmm. I quite like this little outdoor space. It's really cool. The smell in the backyard brought back memories of my grandpa. We spent a lot of time in the garden together. Oh! There's lots of bells. Why are we ringing these? What, what's going on here? Why do we have to ring these? This, this means something. Oh my God. Not only was my dad a painter, but he was also a skilled craftsman. He built a gazebo with his bare hands. Why do I feel like this is gonna be part of a puzzle? Yeah, this is going to be part of a puzzle. This is definitely part of a puzzle. It's going to be two, right? Yeah. So you've got one, three, two. The reset lever should be working as per your request. Is, are the bells going to open the gazebo? Here we go. Things sure have fallen apart in just a matter of a few years. The good memories in this garden are one of the things keeping me sane. My dad built this garden with his bare hands for my mum. It was his wedding gift to her when they moved in. I could picture Caleb playing out here when he was just a toddler rolling around in the dirt, making mud pies and playing hide and seek. Hmm. Okay. So... Now 
Now what? That's a dead end. Wait, there's another bell over there. Hmm. Wait, is there something on the back? No. So this is going to be a puzzle now, isn't it? Ah. Gate leading to the barn was chained and locked. So have we got to do a sequence? Should we try it? So let's try that one. That one. And then one. Oh, it might be one, two, three. Okay, let's reset. I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe it's one, two, three then. I'm just assuming this is what it is. One. Gotta be a sequence. So I'll try the different sequences. So we'll do. It won't pull down. Oh, is it because I gotta reset? We'll do this one. This one. And then this one. And then we'll just keep trying the different sequences. Oh, okay, this is a cutscene. Aha! All right. I knew it was a sequence. It was just, you know, which one was it? Oh. I'd never seen that pillar before. It looked like it was missing pieces. Okay. Oh! Spare object added to Duda. I don't know why I'm doing all these bells. Okay. Now what? I'm walking a bit faster now, which is good news. open now yes yes it does wait no this is the way I came that's where I saw the man still locked Missing something? Probably. I'm probably missing many, many things. Oh, there's a staircase there. How did I not see the staircase? We need that tape player, don't we? Oh, oh. hang on, haven't I got, yeah. Oh, a secret door. How exciting. Ooh. I didn't understand why my dad had let everything fall to ruin. It was unlike him. Maybe I could find answers upstairs. 
Hmm. I wonder if they're real books. They're probably made up. I've seen that picture before as well. Oh, there. Fifth time I've seen that. He obviously bought in bulk from an auction or something. Right. I mean, maybe I could find answers upstairs. There really is nothing here. Um. Yeah, there's no, there's nothing here. Oh. Oh, okay. That's oh, that was locked, wasn't it? Bell. Ding. Hmm. Okay. Locked. <laughs> Sorry, I can't get over these pictures. I hate creaky doors. Hate it. Huh. Oh, we saw that in the menu. Witness. A woman, her brother and her three-year-old daughter were driving near the TNT area. Hmm. They were visiting relatives in that area. They got out of the car in front of their relative's house. Her brother went inside. The woman carrying her daughter saw a creature in the woods near the house. It paralyzed her, and the two fell to the ground. As soon as she regained the ability to move, she scooped up her daughter, ran inside, and called the police. Composite sketch from the witness statement drawn at the police station. Whew. Definite creature. Can I grab that baseball bat? Oh, it's my old room. I liked baseball and post-it notes. <gasps> oh, God. heavily on the residents of Point Pleasant. A local farmer, identified as Joseph Dewspring, was discovered dead in the McClintic Wildlife Management Area yesterday afternoon. Could this incident be linked to the recent sightings of a winged, red-eyed creature? We spoke with a local reporter who interviewed an eyewitness who told their story. Thank you for agreeing to speak with me again today. So when was the last time you saw it? It came back last night. It, it was standing in the woods near the barn. A tall, black figure. I couldn't make out any details except for the big red eyes. I was in a trance, completely paralyzed. Then I blacked out. Oh, I can move while it... <laughs> I could have moved. It's fine. Ah, oh, more reading. My throat's still holding up, by the way. I can't wait to get out of this damn house. I made the mistake of telling my dad that I thought I saw a figure out of the corner of my eye last night in the basement. He went on about how that's called... What? Anomalous phenomena. Whatever the hell that means. Says I might have the same gift he has. Now he gave me a book called The Book of the Damned. I'm going to throw it away. In a few months, I'll be old enough to apply for that trucking job in Indianapolis. Then me and Gracie can get out of here, and I'm never turning back. Is that me writing that? Probably is. I was so mad at him. Mm. Oh! It seems so true that the matter is gone. I just found another shape. And we know shapes activate things. <laughs> Go team! Wait, why is it all boarded up? Another bell. Wonder if you unlock an achievement, like I said. There's just notes randomly everywhere. The deeper I dig, the more I feel I'm being watched. Building my little contraptions helps keep things safe and will throw them off. I never thought being a tinkerer would come in handy. So whatever he's seeing, he's trying to fight off. Ah, that's the moon thing. Locked. There's a small moon-shaped hole in, above the door. There's something blue in there. Oh. I don't know. Mm. Oh. Grandma and Grandpa 
Papa's room was Cut disheveled. Scene. Unrecognizable. What was Dad doing in here? Oh, he's converted it into some kind of a... There's another bell. He's put these bells up himself on purpose. Yeah, he made it into some kind of a... Ooh! Oh, my! Point Pleasant. Two Point Pleasant couples spoke with police about their horrifying encounter on Wednesday at midnight. Their car was chased by a bird-like creature six to seven feet in height with red eyes and a ten-foot wingspan. They were driving near McClintock Wildlife Reserve when they encountered the thing. Gosh. North Power Plant, South Power Plant. Plants... Sulfuric acid buildings, bunkers. It's like he's plotted everything, isn't he? Timeline thus far. National Guardsman on duty saw a large creature perched high on a tree above a fence bordering the base. The very next day, a travelling salesman sees a flying saucer and encounters a strange man. Man spots UFO, encounters a strange man. The man asks him questions. Who are you? What time is it? Five witnesses were digging a grave. Uh, they allegedly saw a figure lift off into the trees above. A farmer's dog was barking at a large creature with reflective red eyes. Two young couples drove up to the TNT area and were chased by the Mothman. They're calling it a Mothman now? This is all in November 67. A local woman encountered the Mothman. She got too close to it and the creature's red eyes disorientated her. She became paralysed, then blacked out. She woke up with severe pain in her eyes. She was diagnosed with conjunctivitis. This is groundbreaking, the first case of trace evidence. Mothman terrorising a small town in West Virginia. Note to self, renew new phone magazine subscription. Hmm. Oh no, I can't really read that. Joseph, an elderly man came to the Point Pleasant Times on November 3rd and asked for me. He said that last night something frightening happened to him and he wanted me to write a story about it in the paper. He said while watching television last night he saw a bright light in the front yard. He lives on a remote farm and couldn't imagine who it would be. He went outside and some strange man was standing next to a silver craft of some kind. The man spoke uh, with him but never moved his mouth. The witness was genuinely scared. He got nervous and ended up changing his mind about reporting the story. He left abruptly, not before I gave him my card and told him to call me if he changes his mind. I'll keep you updated, best Mary. P.S. Could this be linked to the Mothman? That that writing is really hard to read. Hmm. Oh. oh! There's a tape player! Caleb. Caleb, there's a chance I may be gone when you find this recording. I'm sorry for how things turned out, but there are weird things going on. Start by checking the bookshelf downstairs under the vase. There's a key to the side shed. Be careful. Oh my god. Hearing my dad's voice brought a tear to my eye. But my grieving was short-lived. Things were only getting stranger, and I had more questions than answers. I've forgotten how to get down. There's also another tape that we can listen to, right? Oh, what's this? Interview with astronomer, professor and ufologist. One simply doesn't pass up the chance to interview a reclusive subject of interest. That's why when my next assignment landed, oh, blah, 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 blah. Why are things... Why are things blacked out? 
dear friend of mine phoned me a week prior and told me about a local story in the paper about recent sightings. 10% of the population can see beyond the narrow spectrum of visible light. Definitely UFO related, right? Obviously. Where was that? There. I finally found someone who believes me. A journalist here in town named Mary. She wrote a story in the local paper about a group of witnesses who told her story to the Point Pleasant Police Department. News of the Mothman has gone global because of that story. I told her I wanted to help and she suggested I buy a tape player and record all my findings. We're going to get to the bottom of this, damn it. <laughs> all right. So, the bookcase with the bars. I'd forgotten where that was. Around here. Aha! Right, and this was a key to the side shed. Wherever the side shed was. Where am I? Have I read this? Yeah. Oh, okay, I know where I am. <laughs> i got to go this way. Oh, I don't remember where the... There. Lots of bells. I don't know why there's lots of bells. Oh, it was the other side shed that was originally locked, right? This one. Oh no, maybe not. Oh yeah, there we go. Ring the bell. Ding dong. Ooh, ooh, another key. Ah. Basement key. All right. I happened to come across a rerun of a television interview. A man named Warren said that on November 2nd, 1966, he was on an isolated road when a gigantic unidentified flying object landed in front of his car. The door on the object opened and a man wearing a black suit stepped out. Now, I don't know if this is just a coincidence or not, but the day Warren had this encounter was exactly one day after the sighting of the Mothman by the National Guardsman. Are these two incidents somehow linked? I need to bring this up to Mary. I'll gather as much information as I can and present it to her. Lovely. The counter reminded me of the man I saw in the window. The thought of seeing him again sent a chill down my spine. I tried to shake it off. There was no way. I must have imagined that. This is the, uh, yeah. Disengage lock. Bell. Pull. Be set. Oh! I saw a bright light in the sky over the barn tonight. As much as I want Mary and I to get answers, I'm scared of actually counter encountering this man. I'm coming up with different ways to keep intruders out and away from my findings. Aha. The flying object was described as oval in shape and bright silver. A panel running along the length of the craft emitted a warm light. The man came out of the door in the middle. Man, this is fascinating. This story is really cool. All right, I guess we've got to find a basement. We've got a key to a basement, but I don't know where the basement will be. Maybe it's one of the doors that we weren't able to open initially. I left my car door open. Where would a basement door be here? That doesn't look like a basement door. No, nope, that's an upstairs. Oh my god. The power had gone out. What the fuck was going on? Well, no, that's not right, because phones can ring without power. Hello? Son of a bitch from the window. I am a searcher. I need 
I needed to find a way to turn the power back on so I could call the police. <laughs> what? Am I really going to do that? So I need to find a generator then or something, right? And that means, oh, so I need to get to the basement because no doubt that's where... That's where the power generator whatever is. Ah, oh, but I won't, I don't know where to go. There's a dead end. Oh! Okay. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I hate basements. Oh. Dad rarely let me come down here. He was always messing with the pipes and valves. Oh god. Oh. I'm really fascinated about what those I wanna know what those bills are all about, you know? Oh I just unlocked an achievement, so that's probably what it was. I bet everybody rings those bells just by default. Huh. Hey Joe, the furnace door sticks. Turning the fire on loosens it up. The valves have been something lately. Am I going to have to find the other half of this? The valves have been something lately. In order to turn, you want in a specific order. Turn them is... Oh my god. Moon key. Oh, so I'm turning the furnace on to turn the power on. Is this what I'm doing? Hmm. How am I supposed to know what sequence? There's a missing fuse as well. Let's try turning them. Oh, they've got different sounds. Yeah, there's going to be a sequence. I'm not sure what the, what the sequence would be. Okay, um... Alright, so... Did I miss... Have I missed anything here? Have I, oh! Oh! Maybe Caleb needs some space to clear his head. I respect his decision, but damn, do I miss him. I just hope him and Grace are doing all right. At least they still have the farm hands to keep me company and help with running this place. One of my sources connected me with a man in the National Guard. The man has to remain anonymous. He was reluctant to tell me his story until I told him there were other sightings. He was relieved to hear that and told me that it made him feel just a little less crazy. On November 1st, 1966, he was on duty and saw a human-sized figure perched in a tree just above the fence bordering the Point Pleasant Engineer Battalion headquarters. It was too dark to make out any fine details, but it was unmistakably a man-shaped figure. He left to get his partner, but when they returned, the creature was gone. According to my timeline, this is possibly the first sighting of the Mothman. Ah! Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Is there anything else I've missed? Okay, so basically, um... <gasps> oh, God! My goodness! What the fuck was it? Oh, my! 
That genuinely scared me. <laughs> that genuinely scared me. Oh god. Um I need to find the bathroom. I think I'm going to try that key. I've been walk. Well, you guys don't realise I've been walking around for about 15 minutes. I had, I had to edit it out. I still haven't found the bathroom. At least the music's settled. Yeah, I don't know where the bathroom is. Not this one. That's the basement. God damn it. 500 hours later. I will find it. I will find it. It's not there. Guess you can't turn the lights on. No, because there's no power. Where is the bathroom? Oh, it might be through there, actually. Nope. <laughs> Oh no, it's not through there. Oh, it might, it actually might be upstairs. That would make sense. Yeah, I think it might be up here. That's my old room. Oh, okay. There we go. He wouldn't let me do that before. To the oh, there's the pipe thing. Oh no. Basement pipe diagram on the outside. Okay, so is a is it a sequence? I I don't quite understand. Um, so that's the furnace. I don't fully understand. There's five circles. Four circles. Probably one's hidden. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh my god. Three... Oh, there is five. There's one in the far corner. Oh, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. I think I'm kind of understanding. Three, two, five, one, four. I think. Three, two, five, one, four. Three, two, five, one, four. I think. Oh, have I gone the wrong way? Three, two, five. I'm starting to get the layout of the house now. Three, two, five, one, four. Three, two, five, one, four. Three, two, five, one, four. Where was the basement? That's not the basement. This is the basement. Yeah. Right. Ah! Okay. Right. Three. Two. Five. One. Four. No! <laughs> I swore that was going to be right. Alright, alright. Let me try it the other way around then, because I think I might have got it the wrong way around. So three, so maybe it's one, two, three, four, five instead of one, two, three, four, five. So three, two, 
five, one, four. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes! Yes! No! What am I supposed to do with this? I'm, I don't think I've seen a small moon. Small moon. The only the only place I think it could go, because I haven't seen anything else in the house, so I'm thinking it could be something to do with the garden thing, but I'm not. We could try it. I don't know. Well, that would make sense, right? Because there was a thing up here. Like some kind of monument. Yeah, this thing. Oh my god. Am I missing one? I'm missing one. Ah. Okay, so I've uh, <laughs> I've missed one of the doodars, and I I think I know where it is because where I saw the map for the uh, pipes, there was like a half moon, right? So maybe I just didn't pick it up. I'm pretty sure that's where it was. And that was upstairs, wasn't it? So let's do that now. Because remember, I had the key and it said half moon on it. But I don't remember there being a half moon in there. But there should have been, I think. Yeah, look there. Oh, for God's sake. Right, we can just move that. <gasps> oh! Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. That's horrible. Whatever that thing is, it's horrible. I don't really want to go out. I have to go outside, don't I? No. Where am I going? To the garden. Oh. Wait, were they all open before? Oh God, I'm too scared to go out here. Oh. Uh. Oh. I don't like this. He's going to jump out at me. I know. He's going to jump out at me. Oh! I knew. Oh! Run! 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 Oh, ah. no! Oh! Oh, I blacked out. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I really like that. That was cool. Oh, thank you very much for watching. Do smash the thumbs up. Definitely consider a sneaky stuff for more dreadful content. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one. That was actually, I missed a few things on that. So sorry about that. It actually took me about an hour and a half plus to play that, that demo. Uh, I edited it out a little bit. I was I got a bit confused, but we got there in the end. Thank you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, take care. So long. Goodbye.